Hey everyone, welcome to Slater's Wrist Game. Today I'm going to do a full review of a watch I've grown very fond of. This is the second time I've actually purchased this particular watch. It's just in a different colorway this time. Uh, so I want to go ahead and do a full review of this one. But I hope you guys are staying cool out there. It is uh, in, the, in July and it is very hot right now. Okay, so I hope you guys are enjoying your vacations and enjoying your family reunions and are staying cool. But this watch here we have is from a company called J.W. Hume. J.W. Hume is a company that was established in Minnesota in 1905 by John Willis Hume. They basically focus on, uh, was specialized in leather goods, leather purses, shoes, things like that. This is the second watch I've actually purchased uh, from them. I purchased a, a green uh, a watch with a green dial and green leather strap, I think it was about a year ago, and gave it to my brother uh, for his birthday back in May. Uh, but I wanted to go ahead and do a full review of this one, all right? Now, getting into the specs, this watch here is model number JWH0014, all right? The movement is a Japanese quartz chronograph movement called a TMI VK64. And TMI is a third-party division of Seiko. So basically, you get like a Seiko chronograph in here. This watch has a 43-millimeter case. It has a 51 millimeter lug to lug. The lugs do curve downward. A 12 millimeter height and a lug a width of 22 millimeters. It tapers down to 19 millimeters at the clasp. Okay. Uh, this watch here is 100 meters water resistance. Water resistant. And I paid a whopping 30 US dollars for this watch, which is a steal. Uh, so this is a great watch. So basically, uh, this watch here, I, I used to see it selling for like $130 online. To find it for $30, I was like, what's wrong with it? This is a, re a rebuy for me, and there's nothing wrong with it. So let me uh, just uh, go over it. So basically, you see the dial here, this Panda Chronograph dial, which a lot of people like the Panda Chronograph dial. But there's a mineral crystal protecting the dial. All right, the dial has two black sub dials and uh, you see your hour hand and a minute hand. This watch does not have a second hand, which at first I was uh, bummed out about it when I bought this watch a year ago, the green version. But when I think about it, I like to see the smooth sweep of a uh, second hand. With, and, but, but quartz watches don't have a smooth sweep. They just have a ticking second hand, which I can miss that. Not a big deal. All right, you see the stick that this watch has stick hour markers and a tachymeter scale going around the outer edge of the dial. You have the J.W. Hume logo at the 12 o'clock and the word J.W. Hume uh, established 1905 right under that logo. And at the six o'clock, there is a, a date window. And when I look at it, it is basically a white date window with black text. So basically when you compare the dial color to the date window, you see that this dial is not a pure white, more like an off white, but it's not necessarily a cream color either. Especially when you look at the hands and the date window compared to the dial. It's not a pure white dial, but it's, it's close enough, okay? This watch here has a uh, fixed bezel, with it, which is a high polished bezel. And, but the side of the watch here, the side of the case is actually like a brush case. So I always like to see watches that have like a combination of brushed and polished finishes. The lugs are also brushed. But it's like you have some polished finishes on the the crown and the pushers. You see the there's a uh, J.W. Hume logo, uh, logo on the uh, on the crown, and there's a push pull crown. Right now, let's take a look at the chronograph action. So pretty good chronograph action. Once again, for thirty dollars, I bought watches for around this price, and it was basically like a, like a multifunction watch that didn't that the chronograph really didn't even work. So to get a functional chronograph. For thirty dollars is a steal. Okay, we'll stop it and reset. All right, pretty good. Now we take a look at the strap. You see the uh, JW uh, Hume logo on the strap. This uh, watch here, uh, you see, it has black stitching with this black leather strap, which is actually looks very good. There are a lot of sizing holes. I haven't counted them. Look, there's about ten sizing holes, which is great. And you can just take a look at this strap. This is a very high quality leather strap. I bought watches where they have an MSRP of, I just bought an Oris Akavango and, and it has a leather strap, but this strap is better than an Oris strap. And this is on a $30 watch. 
okay? Uh, you see here, genuine leather on the back side of the strap. Here's J.W. Harum here. But honestly, uh, what makes this watch such a steal is that it is very comfortable. The leather strap is awesome. Looking at the case back, you see the model number here. Uh, and you see uh, the information about J.W. Harum, the branding. And it's water resistant, 10 atmospheres, which is 100 uh, meters water resistant, okay? Screw down, case back. All right? So nothing special here like a high poly screw down case back. The other uh, strap here also has a, uh, the JW Hearing logo and have two keepers here and you have a, a buckle that is signed with the JW Hearing logo again. All right. But uh, I would just say that this watch here, very comfortable and you still get that Panda chronograph look for a fraction of the price. This is a course watch. So uh nothing you know easy to uh, get this thing going again if the battery quits okay so the pros uh, for this one are you have 100 meters water resistance it is affordable and it is very comfortable uh the cons i don't have any cons on this one it, there is watch has a push pull crown a mineral crystal and no uh second hand but who cares at 30 dollars all right you don't i don't need a second hand for a course watch especially a chronograph and I'm okay with a mineral crystal and a push-pull uh, crown at $30. All right, so now let me put this on the wrist, okay? Right now, I'm wearing my Casio Tide Graph, another watch I love uh, very dearly, okay? Take this watch off and put on the, this uh, Panda Chronograph here. All right, so here we go. So start with the, do a wrist roll, start with the, the buckle. Look at the strap and the size and hold. You can see the logo here. So honestly, guys, this is uh, very, very comfortable. My wrist is seven and one quarter inches, which is about 18 centimeters. And this is a 43 millimeter case and with a 51 millimeter low to low. So the specs will work, will work for most people. Most people can pull off a 43 millimeter case with a 51 millimeter lug to lug and a 12 millimeter height. And like I said, once this quartz battery dies, I just go on Amazon, give me a 10 pack of batteries uh, for like five or six bucks. And you basically, uh, all it's gonna take is a $1 to put a, another battery in here because it has their screw down case back, which is easy to remove. So honestly, I'm glad I picked this one up. Uh, my brother is enjoying the green one. I have this one and I think this is a keeper until the movement just completely quits, okay? So give this brand a try, J.W. Harum. They seem like they make high-quality products. And their watches really don't hold value because they're not a watch company. They're a leather goods company that make watches normally on a leather strap. So that concludes this video, guys. Please continue to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me at Slater's Risk Game, and I will bring you another video soon. All right, thanks, and enjoy your day.